Good morning, good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. I'm Alan Nuckman with Trading Advantage with your morning market stir for Thursday, November 14th. Another day, another new high. E mini SP up 13 and 3 quarters, 1778 and 3 quarters, new high at 1782 in that E mini SP. The Dow added 69, 15,779, and the NASDAQ led the way up here, new 13 year highs, 3402, 37 and a half, up 1% on the session. Dollar index drifted lower, 80.98 below the 80.81 level, down 27. That pushed the euro currency up, 134.63, up 35. The high was 134.99. Again, that 136 level is the resistance in the pivot up above. Bonds added 14, 131.30. Crude oil got off the mat, 94.50, up 84 cents. 95 was the high yesterday, so we'll see if it can close above that here in the next few sessions. And lastly, gold was down three points at 12.68 and had a low at 12.65, continuing to drift lower and stay along this bottom with some key support at 12.50 over the last couple of months. All right, so after new highs, where do the markets stand here on this Thursday morning to start a new trading day? Well, we're mixed this morning. Right now we're at 17.81 and a quarter, up two and three quarters in the E-mini S&P. We're up seven in the uh, Dow futures at 157.87, but the NASDAQ's off. We had some earnings numbers come out from Cisco last night. They're down about 10%. 33.93 is where the NASDAQ is, down nine points after posting those new decade plus highs yesterday. The dollar's a little bit more firm, up 24.81.23. That's pushed the euro down, 134.31. Bonds right now are moving up as well, 132.10. The yield right now in the 30-year 30, the 30 uh, treasury is at 3.8%. And on the 10-year note, it's 2.72, so it's backed off of that little surge that we have been seeing in yield. Looking at crude, crude's down 23, 94.26. And gold, up $15, even with the dollar strength, at 12.85. We talked about that 12.50 level. Now let's look at 1,300 once again on a closing weekly basis. That's a very important pivot to show some remaining strength in gold. All right, to wrap it up with two hours to go before the cash stock market open, we're positive in the S&P up two and three quarters at 1781 and a quarter, and we're up seven in the Dow futures at 15,787. I will see you early Friday morning for the morning market stir to set up your trading day. Alan Nuckman from Trading Advantage here at the CME Group, where it all comes back to commodities.